swear in this. Yes. He's gonna swear then, but he thought better of it. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn them notifications on. Now, it's been quite a while since the last video was posted. To the day when I'm recording this, it's about 40 days. Quick update, I had been working away um, with Jake and uh, his dad on a job down the road from here. And then I've been back here for a couple of weeks, not really, just haven't got around to recording anything. But this morning, got the camera out, gonna be recording. Today's video, basically just gonna center around the morning jobs with the cows. So cubicles, feeding, uh, and that's about it really. And um, hopefully it comes out pretty well. So I have just finished doing the cattle feeding this morning, which I thought about including in this video, but then I thought, no, we'll do that one in another one. Uh, today, we'll focus solely around the cows and what we do with them every day. We're fully into the winter swing now. It is today the 7th, 18th of December. Christmas just around the corner. Pretty busy here. Got quite a few things going on at the moment, but you know, like it is, it never slows up on the farm. So anyway, we'll shoot around the other side and uh, yeah, get into the video in question. So we just uh, just come around the other side, Mark's just fired the scraper tractor up. And first of all, cows have been milked and they're shut up on the top yard. Now this is the system that we have to go through here with doing it because the cows are always in the way. There's never somewhere for them to go. So they go up there and then once we've finished here, they go in there, what can we do up there? And yeah, you get the gist. So first up, scraping. So we'll just nip down here quickly. We got the 1390 on the scraper tractor, which a lot of you know already. And uh, Mark's just scraping cubicles out now. I think the light's pretty shit this morning, so let's try it. Oh, it's not bad. So there is one line of cubicles scraped. So we scrape the cubicles out twice a day. So we do it after our morning milking. And then at night, we kind of do, well, we do the top end before milking or just as we start. And then we do the bottom end as we're finishing off. A little bit of a different system, but we kind of have to work it around where the cows are, whatever. I tell you what, it's surprising actually how much slurry comes out of these cubicles, even though you're scraping them twice a day. Apologies for the poor lighting this morning. I should have filmed this video three days ago. It was really sunny morning, but hey ho, there we are. So whilst Miles just finishing off there now, I am, well, next up, we need some straw into the cubicles, but the chopper's empty, which is always perfect. And there's a bit of net wrap around the blades. So I'm gonna cut that out first and then We'll get a bale in, so bear with me a moment. We get that out and uh, get bale in. There's that empty, so now we're just grabbing our bale. And, uh, well, where better to get it from than on top of the silage? You can see why we like to put them up there because bales are always here for the straw chopper. Usually they'd be under the barn, which you can see 
is empty. So you'd have to either open that gate or open them two gates and go through. It's just easier that it's all here and goes straight in the uh, straw chopper. So we'll get this one loaded up. So we load all our bales in with the net wrap still on. We don't bother cutting it or anything. Um, we've always done it and we never get any trouble with the straw chopper doing so. You get a little bit wrapped around the propellers after you've put about five or six bales in. So you just get in there and cut it out. Other than that, it's pretty easy. I'm on my phone now because I've just given Mark my uh, GoPro to film me coming down the cubicle. So we'll try and get a bit of a mixture of film on here. Door choppers up, lights are on. shut away on to the next part i finished talking on here and now i'm talking there <laughs> that's how it's done hey hang on hang on how are you there's me opening the gate look oh, that's even done yet who's here oh oakley's they're bringing us some fuel 
Hilarious look, main mall. Oh. How are we, Jeffrey, this morning? Alright. Alright, are you? Nice weather, isn't it? Oh. Oh. Yes. He's gonna swear then, but he thought better of it. I know, it's a bit rubbish, isn't it? <laughs> oh, or it does. It does. Oh, we'll get the cows in now. So at the moment, there's 60, 60 cows here, I think. Uh, so when we shut them in, we just count them into the cubicles, make sure that roughly 30 goes in the top and then 30 in the bottom, and then it's usually pretty good. Pretty good, and as you can see, they're pretty waiting to go in. They know the routine. I know they've got to go in now, so they're just here waiting. Come on, lovelies. In they go, look, there's already like some in here. I haven't counted them yet, so I'm gonna have to go down here and give them a count. So actually, I don't know if you can see the beds, but I will show by the door. So look how much nicer this is looking. They got a nice clean floor, nice clean bed, and you can see the cows are pretty happy because it does not take them long to go up in the beds in here. Say hello to the uh, fans on YouTube 814. This cow here is a very frustrating cow. We've got on the farm. So you'll see she's not really dirty, but she's a little bit dirty. Basically, she likes to lie in a cubicle when she feels like it. Some days she'll lie out on that top yard and all, all the crap. Other days she'll come in here and lie in a cubicle. No reason why. There's not really a lot you can do about cows that I apart from go along, kick them up and drive them in, but they'll still do it. She's done it for years now, so no point trying to stop her now, but I'll count these in, get them shut in, and then we'll be on to the next stage. On to the next set of jobs that we do in the morning. So you'll just see in front of me, Mark is scraping up the main area of the cow yard down the side of the feed barrier. So we scrape that twice a day. In the morning, we do it after the cows have been shut into the cubicles and at night, we scrape it up once the cows have just been shut down the yard. And then we scrape it up to the middle gate and then we put, just there you'll see, there's a retractable washing line and we just stick that across the yard and that stops the cows standing in the mark that you've just scraped down the yard because they do just like to do that. There goes Mark, you'll probably be able to see in the camera here. So, just going to put our silage down the barrier now. And uh, there's Mark again, look, following us up the yard. At the moment, we're feeding the silage down the barrier simply with in blocks out of the shear grab. Now, earlier on in the winter when the cows first come in, we were feeding through the feeder wagon, but basically the feeder wagon's got a hole in the unloading chute. It's just, uh, it was getting bad. And yeah, it's just got a lot worse now. So a lot of the silage is just going on the floor by the barrier whilst we're emptying it. So we've decided to just feed with the blocks at the moment, get that repaired, and then get back onto feeding with the wagon again. The wagon is kind of essential this year, really, because if you go back on the, uh, videos and take a look at our second cut silage that grass got rained on and got dried out a lot and actually now in the silage pit it's not the best of silage so it makes a hell of a difference really having it going through the feed wagon and mixing up the cows eat it a lot better like yesterday i put the dryer block off the top of the silage pit there i don't know if you can see now but there's still quite a lot of it left they just don't eat as much because it's a drier block they don't eat as much but also it's not as good as silage so essentially it's kind of crap so they're not that keen on eating it so this is the last job usually on our list in the morning we uh, milk them in the morning after milking scrape the cubicles draw the cubicles shut the cows in and then we scrape the top yard pop the silage out and then get the cows back out and then they have free roam of the cubicle sheds and the top yard as they please the weather's kindly kind of swung in our favor a little bit the last week because it's come a little bit colder and a little bit wetter so the cows in a sense it's swung in our favor for getting cows in the cubicles sometimes when you get milder drier sunny days they don't like 
lying in the cubicles too much and when they've got free reign of this top yard they tend to sort of lie outside of here uh, but when it's colder and wetter they will go and lie inside the only problem again with it being wetter is that the silage down the feed barrier is getting wet plus the cows that don't want to stand out in the rain to eat down the barrier they rather lie in the shed in the warm and in the dry so yeah it works in it works both ways but what I could do with is some nice cold frost, maybe a bit of snow. A bit of snow would be nice over Christmas, wouldn't it, this year? I can't see it happening myself. If it does happen, it'll be like that lot we had three years ago and freeze everything in sight. Because it never deals us a kind hand, does it? Yeah, it's yesterday because they haven't quite finished that off so just encourage the cows a little bit to finish off what they've got it's not got wet too much on silage she should be okay oh, listen to it I love British winters you just can't beat them I have to put the hood up Oh no, brave the elements. Cats gotta come out. Jesus. Tie that up. So now we just get our strand of wire. Now, if you go back on my videos, you'll see last year, I think, I was talking about. I can't remember which video it was in. I was talking about the farm and how I'd like to do things differently. Look what we've done this year. An electric strand of wire going from this post here to the wooden post up there which is what I wanted to do last year and it's made a massive difference that has I've had a lot less cows sort of lying outside in that area of drier cleaner concrete uh, still get some but they are they are less than what we were getting before which is always a good thing Right, there's that door open. See behind me, one cow has ventured out, which is one more than I thought. Let's have a look in here, look at this. So I like to see where the cows laid out in the cubicles. And there we go. Not one has come out of here yet. They're starting to come out. And there is the morning jobs complete. It's now, we have done some littering and whatever before doing the rest of all. Uh, this is quarter 12 so not too bad uh, usually it would be an hour earlier but we've had to litter all the cattle this morning and the bales are over the far side of the cow yard so we should leave them in for a bit longer it's not a problem if anything again it's helpful because it just means that these guys have got to be in the cubicles so they'll lie down for a little bit longer in in the cubicles where they need to be but you can see the floor's not too not too dirty yet by night that'll be a different story and they'll need scraping out again and all the work we've done this morning will look like it was never done and that is the reoccurring thing of the winter so i hope you've all enjoyed today's video trying to just get back into the swing of things try and get a video up each week one a week is what i'm going for but look at this guy she <laughs> she's gone out seen the weather and thought look at that i'm coming back in i don't blame you girl i really don't but yeah apologies for being so delayed on the videos i know this a few of you have messaged me and asked you know when's the next video and so on and so forth got a machinery tour hopefully coming out next that we're gonna have a look at the tractors uh richard's gonna gonna come along the guy who owns the ford so he's gonna do a little bit of talking in that one i believe uh, if all goes to plan we'll do that if not who knows what's coming next i want to give you all an update on the crops so we'll do a uh bit of a crop walk that won't be a long video because i ain't gonna go around every field and talk about them i'm just gonna do a quick whip round of what they've like what they're like now 
compare them to what they were like this time last year or when I did the video last year and uh, yeah they definitely look better they look better anyway so anyway I'd like to thank you all for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one